Hello YouTube, it's Delta125 here again with another MGTOW video. Um, this time it was kind of something I thought up while getting up in the morning and whatnot, but uh, it's about uh, 11 o'clock at night my time now. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video, but pretty much the philosophy of um, kind of combining uh, like college life with the old philosophy of why the chicken cross the road. But, um, again, Turd Flying Monkey's videos kind of got me thinking about it. And, uh, then I saw a, um, quote from Albert Einstein, too, which actually kind of rang true with it. Which I'll, uh, reiterate at the end of the video, but, you know, to start off. So, the philosophical chicken basically is the, um popular, you know, girl or whatever that's at your college. And uh, the people asking why she crossed the road are the people that follow her. Meanwhile, what they should be asking is why the duck that they never saw cross the road, and better yet, how did he do it? The duck in this case would be the uh, philosophical, philosophical version of the, uh, you know, the loner type that goes on his own way and whatnot. But crossing the road is basically how you get your degree and then what's on the other side of the road is your degree so pretty much instead of asking why the chicken crossed the road you should be asking how the you know the ugly duckling over there did it and the reason for that is when everyone's asking the chicken how he crossed the road they're holding him up or her in this case him her whatever anyways they're holding the chicken up in this case so the chicken can't cross the road to get their degree. Meanwhile, the ugly lonely duckling, if you will, that's down there that no one sees, in other words, someone that really wants their degree that'll work hard to get it, is already crossing the road, probably flying across it, to get their degree. Now, the reason for that is socialism. And what I mean by that is the more social you are, the longer it'll take you to get your degree because you're too busy to study and do your work to get your degree because you're hanging out with people that you you know you think are oh they're gonna be my friends for life blah 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 well you know maybe half those people will know you for maybe five to ten years more down the road but they're probably not gonna remember you you know for life and I don't know why I looked at white my lights I don't know interfering with the camera but anyways um meanwhile the duckling that doesn't have anyone or the duck that doesn't have anyone uh asking them, you know, well, why'd you cross the road, or how'd you do it, you know? The duck that doesn't do that, which in this case would probably be like, I don't know, turd flying monkey, maybe? Just throwing that out there. But, um, the duck, in this case, would get their degree a lot faster because they don't have anyone holding them back. They don't really have much of a social life, meaning, you know, they're pretty much what you would refer to as a loner. Someone that doesn't go up to people at a table and like, oh, hey, how you doing, da, 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 you know. Instead, they're the type that sit down at their own table, open up their laptop or their briefcase or whatever, you know, and start doing their work. But the chicken, you know, is the person that socializes. The person that's, you know, sits down and starts, you know, pretty much bullshitting with their friends about random crap. That has no bearing on their education whatsoever. But the, uh... Like I was saying, uh, the duck will get the degree a hell of a lot faster than the chicken will. So, instead of asking, why did the chicken cross the road, you should ask, how did the duck cross the road? So, yeah, and, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. The, um, quote from Albert Einstein was something about, uh, those who stick with the crowds will be stuck with the crowds. And those who are loners will go places no one else has ever been. Or something like that. And it's pretty much the same philosophy here. If you stick to your work and don't bullshit when you're in college and stuff, you will get through it a lot easier and faster than anyone else will. Probably with a higher GPA too, which is grade point average. And those of you watching don't know. Meanwhile, the chicken that everyone's talking to and all that crap, you know, the popular person in this case, will pretty much be holding themselves back and probably having a lower grade 
and probably going with like a liberal arts major in the end. Meanwhile, the duckling probably, or the duck, will probably get a engineering degree or a lawyer's degree or, or law degree as it's called or a uh, medical degree, you know, something like that. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make that little point about, you know, the whole socialism crap in college and stuff. I'm going to throw it out there. If you want to have friends, go ahead and do it. Just don't let them hold you back. And then, I think that's about it for this video. This was just a quick little short one about the socialism in college and stuff. But, uh, yeah, see it happen every day, even up here. And, uh, Pretty much the people that are the most social you see are the ones that have the hardest time because no one's going to help them. Because the people that are socializing with them are just as stupid, if not more stupid, than they are. Meanwhile, the loner type, or the nerdy type that's over there in the corner, you know, studying their books, doing whatever, and you're probably calling them gay wad or something like that, you know, just trying to down them and whatnot, they're actually getting their degree. You, on the other hand, you're probably going to be held back a few classes or something, you know, and eventually earn your degree, but with a lower GPA. So, you know, just food for thought. <clears throat> Instead, who you should socialize with is not the chicken, but the duck or the duckling or whatever you want to call them. So, that's just a little philosophical kind of thing, and, you know, even Albert Einstein kind of realized that with his quote. And again, the quote is, those who stick with the crowds will be stuck with the crowds. Those who are loners <clears throat> will go places no one else has ever been. So if you think about it, it's actually true. But uh, I think that's about it for this little update. Uh, I don't know how many more of these MGTOW videos I'm going to do, but I want to do at least one more about uh, Probably the devious ways of women or something like that, you know, just things that I've noticed along the way. But, I don't know, if I find another topic, I'll probably make another video. But other than that, the next one will probably just be the devious ways of women, and I don't know if that'll be my last video on that, on the MGTOW series, but I might make more, who knows. But just food for thought, you know, if you get into deep thought, I mean, you know, Sometimes it could be as much as like relaxing in a hot tub or something, you know, you go into deep thought about like, you know, the whole philosophical thing that I just mentioned to you about like compare college with the why the chicken crossed the road or how to do it kind of philosophy. You know, and then you'll start thinking more and more and more about it and you'll get what I'm saying about, you know, the people that are socializing are going to be stuck there socializing and the person that's on their own over there, you know, earning their degree in their own time and stuff is going to, you know, get ahead more and have a better, you know, grade score and all that. So, I mean, you know, just something to think about, something to ponder in your head, but other than that, um, another thing is, uh, if you do go to college, for anyone that's, you know, thinking about it, watching this video, try to take online courses because you can pretty much look up things that you don't know off your own computer, whereas you don't have that luxury, you know, if you were, say, like, in the classroom or something. You don't necessarily have that luxury if you're, like, doing your midterm or your finals, so, regardless, study the material, but when you're at home doing online courses, you can just open another tab if you don't know something and go look it up. I'm not saying go look up the answer, but if you want the definition of something or want to look up how to do it, then you can do that as long as it's not a time test. Of course, it also depends on your college and their rules and policies and crap on that, so. Just suggestion, you know. But, uh. Still thinking about going for a law degree, so. I think I might start on that possibly next year. But, uh. <clears throat> just a little update with a MGTOW video. And it's almost 11 14. So, I guess I'm gonna end this video with that, and, uh. You know, leave your comments below and I'll try to get back to them as usual. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep watching Turd Flame Monkey's videos because, I mean, the majority of stuff actually makes sense. And I'm just going to say, one that actually recently opened my eyes was uh, his video called um, Nice Guy Simps and Obese Blimps. If you haven't seen that one, I suggest you do. 
And that video should probably be in every single freaking sex ed class that has ever been done. Because, I mean, the stuff that he was saying in there has never rang truer, you know, since I'd seen the video. Because I started thinking about it and I was like, damn, that's like almost every single fucking relationship that I've ever seen. For those of you that haven't watched the video, I suggest you go do it, you know. And uh, I'll see all you guys next video. Those are one two five signing out.